Hello, and welcome to the October 2011 edition of the 127th Wing Report. Leading our news this month are two deployment stories. In early September, about two dozen members of the 127th Civil Engineering Squadron returned from a six-month deployment to Afghanistan, where they completed 94 construction projects worth a total of more than $42 million. The 127th Operations Group deployed in late September to Afghanistan. Staff Sergeant Rachel Barton has this report. More than 300 airmen and a dozen A-10 aircraft from Selfridge deployed at the end of September to fly and support the A-10 Thunderbolt II out of Kandahar Airfield in Afghanistan. The personnel deployed are from the 107th Fighter Squadron, the 127th Operations Group, and the 127th Maintenance Group. The members are pilots, aircrew life support specialists, and aircraft maintenance personnel. With only three months of lead time to prepare for departure, the entire 127th Wing at Selfridge put forth a stunning effort to ensure pre-deployment requirements were in order to put all the required planes and personnel in place on time. The majority of airmen departed during the last week of September, with hundreds of friends and family gathered to see them off. Their deployment will last for about four months, with a few airmen expecting to serve an additional one to two months in the region. For the 127th Wing, I'm Staff Sergeant Rachel Barton. In addition to the A-10 deployment, several smaller scale deployments of the Wing's KC-135 have been ongoing for several months and are expected to continue at least into next year. Several energy efficiency efforts are now underway at Selfridge. Three new geothermal heating systems are being installed on the base to heat and cool several buildings which are now under construction. The geothermal system takes advantage of a constant temperature which exists about 15 feet below the ground and uses that to help heat and cool a building at less cost. A variety of recycling programs exist on the base and a new aggressive effort to boost the use of smart meters and a consideration for solar power are among the programs that are also underway at Selfridge. Being energy smart not only aids the environment and reduces our dependency on foreign oil, it also saves on taxpayer dollars. Additional information on green energy initiatives and on the recycling programs at Selfridge are available on our website at www.127wg.ang.af.mil. And while at the website, you can check out our latest new videos profiling airmen from around the wing as they work in their duty stations. The Michigan Air National Guard will have a new command chief on January 1st. State Chief Master Sergeant Michael Dalton, who first enlisted with the 127th Wing in 1971, will retire on January 1st. Chief Dalton has been the State Command Chief since 2003, after previously serving as the Command Chief here at Selfridge. Chief Master Sergeant David Eddy has been named by Major General Robert Johnston as the new State Command Chief. Chief Eddy is a member of the 217th Air Operations Group in Battle Creek, which supports U.S. Air Forces Africa. Chief Eddy began his Air Force career as a Security Forces member, first enlisting in 1986. The 127th Wing Fire Department has recently participated in two training exercises on the base, which also involved a variety of personnel from other agencies. In September, the department conducted live fire training and air crew rescue operations. In early October, they responded to a simulated hazardous material spill, practicing containing the spill and then ensuring that all personnel were safely decontaminated. That is a quick look at what is happening this month around the 127th Wing. Until next time, I'm Tech Sergeant Dan Heaton, reminding you to aim high.